time for another Security 101. And last week I talked about these email forward scams and how do you determine what is really a scam on the internet. And I'm sure you've seen some of the commercials where I read it on the internet. And it can't be true. It has to be true because it can't put anything bad or wrong on the internet. Well, let me just say that's the farthest thing from the truth. The internet is where everything that shouldn't be <laughs> actually exists. There's a lot of good in the internet too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to steer you away from the internet. But you really have to think about what you're doing when you're on the internet and don't, I basically follow the thing, don't trust anybody that you've met or done on the internet. In fact, if you've ever seen, it's a, it's a great show by the way, it's called Catfish. It's about people who are doing online dating and they're communicating with people that they actually never met. And when they finally meet them, they're either, instead of being the guy they thought they were, they're a girl or vice versa and they're just not with it. It's really easy these days to do all kinds of stuff on the internet. But there's also a lot of things that are going around the internet that just aren't true. Um, it's so easy to create a story on the internet and pass it around, and that's exactly what happens. So if you go to Snopes.com, Snopes is a website that keeps track of all the different things that are floating around the internet. Actually, it goes more than the internet. It goes to things that are old wives' tales and things like that, that people will have proven to be, to be wrong, and they give you the evidence on there. Now, I've seen things on Snopes that also is very weak and as far as their evidence goes. It still makes it kind of questionable. So it's not like a, yes, that's correct. Snopes is not a, this is correct. This is where a site where people can put in things that try to show you why it's true or not true in either case. So that's all I want to tell you this week is when you get something that seems to be, it could be true, go check out Snopes.com first. And typically somebody has done research on it and can tell you the truth about what you're, you're being passed around on the internet. And I see this a lot of people being passed around from friend to friend. Like, I'll check this out, I'll forward this to you and go, you know, things like that. So it's a, it's a, like a rumor database kind of thing. So I would recommend definitely go check out Snopes. That's what I want to tell you this week is just be careful and do some research and don't, just don't trust everybody on the internet. It's very, very good to, to go check out things. Again, Snopes.com. We'll see you next week.